So would you like to use Trello for your personal projects? You actually choose a great application to get started. The installation Trello is a great app to so manage more than just one project. You can manage for students, you can manage that for your own personal stuff or marketing and research and much more. So how do we get started? What do you want to do is to go into the Trello.com and you could be seeing something like this. So what you want to do is to choose your email here and hit into sign up. Uh, totally for free. In my case, I choose to have an account with my actual Gmail. So once I clicked enter, what I want to do is create my account. There we go. So I'm just going to close this one because I don't need this anymore. And I'm just going to be focusing into the main section of my Trello. So uh, to get started here, what we want to do is to create my, my very first workspace. So here I do have the project or my team name. So since this is a personal project, let's say for example that I am uh, getting started here into YouTube. So I want to go into YouTube 2023 or YouTube channel example one on the 2023. And if there's someone that's gonna be helping you with edit uh, or creating music or whatever, you want to add those, your emails in the, in my case, I'm doing this alone. So I'm gonna go into create your workspace. And now it's going to be offering us the Trello Premium totally for free with the link that I just gave you down below. Now it's an amazing section to have uh, limited more uh, project views, boards, advanced administrator. I used this for more than three months and it's actually really worthy. The problem with me is that I didn't use Trello a lot, so I believe it wasn't that useful for me. But just in case you want to check it out, you have the link down below. So I'm going to go for skipped. If you want, you can stop that. You can enable that totally for free. You don't have to add anything. And you have actually here your very first workspace. Now inside a workspace, just as in other places of project management, for example, Monday, for example, Asana, ClickUp, and much more, you do have to start with a first board. So here we do have templates, which is most popular template. And you can choose a category if you want to. Let's say, for example, that I want to be focusing into design. And I do have a lot of research products in here. If I click into create your first board, here we do have the board title, the possibility, and the create section. I do love to get started with some templates that you guys might know, because it's going to be more uh, faster to just customize that. So I want to click into start with a template. And here you can see we do have top templates. I want to look out for something more accurate for me. So I'm going to go for explore template. And once you do look out for templates, what you want to look out is for your category. In my case, I want to look for project management, which is actually this one. And look out for something that can be helping me uh, project management templates. So as you can see, there's are different tools that you can check it out. Uh, for example, you can go for find template if you want to do. So I'm going to scroll a little bit down and look out for social medias or try to look for something that can be a little bit more accurate than I am doing here. For example, here you can manage video production, um, brainstorm to do, doing and done. Uh, I'm going to look out for this one. And it's, it's going to be looking, it's going to be showing me the video production template. So we do have the script writing, the pre-production planning, the video shoot and all that. So um, now that you find something that you kind of like, I'm going to go into marketing. I'm going to go for marketing content catalog or marketing overview. Let's say this one. Now you find the one that fits for you. You go into use template and you want to customize the title. Let's say, for example, I'm going to go for YouTube marketing research. And my workspace is going to be, of course, the one that we get created. So we go into create. And there we go. So just as that, just as simple as that, we do have now a board really, really easy created. So you can change the uh, background if you wanted to, but I'm going to do uh, that later. I want to focus into my actual boards. So here, as you can see into my boards, what I can see is the different uh, sections here. So I'm going to go back here into my actual template that we were just creating. So I'm going to go back here like this. And what I want to do is to change the actual stuff here. Let's say, for example, that I have YouTube marketing research. So here, what I want to do is to look out for, let's say, I want to change this for posted media content. I'm going to go here for um, deleted content. 
I'm gonna go for privacy content or let's say YouTube strikes just in case this happens and here I want to look out for um, suggestions and if I think that this one is more than enough I'm gonna select this one this action and I want to don't see this so I can achieve this or I can just uh, move that other way. So I'm going to go into done here, achieve this list, and I just want to focus into the four of them. So, um, as you can see, inside we do have different cards. Um, the amazing part, speaking about cards inside boards, is that I can drag and drop. For example, let's say that I have the suggestion and I don't want to see this and I want to move this into deleted content. So I just drag and drop, and there we go. So, as you can see, it's really easy just to move from one place into another one like that or if you actually just don't want to see that you can delete it if I clicked into whatever uh, card that I choose it's going to be appearing the more descriptive way speaking about the description the attachment the members list the labels the checklist everything that appears in here so I can start creating my very first card for example here into posted media content I'm going to go into the art card and let's say that I want to create some YouTube video example number one and hitting to add your card. So once you have added your card, uh, I want to do that once again because I deleted this. I'm going to click in here and I can see now the pop-up section of my card. So here I can edit the notification, here's the description, this is an example, the activity. Uh, if I'm working for myself, let's say that I just want to add, I recorded the video already and hit into save. There we go. So uh, we do have the member list. I can add more people in here so they can show uh, the actual trailer can show them how where I'm at. I can go into my labels. So I can change the color. For example, YouTube of course is into the red color. There we go. And we do have the checklist. Now we can go into add. Now this add checklist has a percentage. So here, for example, I do have, let's say, the recorded. I'm going to add new. And I do have the new one that says edited. And I do have the one that says posted. And I want to look out for something that boosted it. Or I'm going to go for, um, let's say, just automated. And add more stuff if I can. For example, I have the power ups. Now, power ups can be helping me to have uh, extra stuffed into my team members for example card qr codes i can add projects like looks like this uh trello reported i'm going to scroll a little bit down to see where are more power ups google drive uh i do have more fields to choose here i don't want to focus in here because i want to do this only on my own but i was just showing you guys that what we can do here into the dates for example let's say that i have to uh, finish this video by to the end of the month i'm going to choose this one set due date reminder one day before and hit into save and here automatically is going to be popping up the due date so once you've finished your project you just want to scratch this and it's going to be automatically appear as completed so that means that if i click into the x mark i'm going to scroll a little bit down and here you can see i have this one into green so that means that my project has now been filled so i can move this into done i'm going to hit into another list i'm going to hit into done and I'm going to move this in here and they are actually good to go. This is the way of how I can get started, but you can customize it as you wanted to. So at the, at the end of the day, this is your own board. So this is just an example of what I do to create my actual work. So with that being said, guys, this is how you can get started here into Trello. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools about all of these new features of uh, project management into Trello. Thank you once again for watching the video, guys. And well, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.